Hey, Proof Pilot here. I don't know if you know about my plan to study Einstein's general relativity, but here we are at the beginning of the road studying topology. Why topology? Well, let me give it to you straight. If you want to learn the math behind the subject, you have to study topology to get a general idea of it. As the definition of an n-dimensional topological manifold says, an n-dimensional topological manifold is a second countable Hausdorff space that is locally Euclidean of dimension n. Of course, right now, you may have no idea what these terms mean, but I will break it down for you in a few minutes. The book I chose to study topology was Introduction to Topological Manifolds by John M. Lee, but the book most people usually choose for topology is Monkers. Topology, the classic general topology textbook. I read Monkers when I was doing topology in my sixth semester. I think Monkers is excellent book for general topology, but not as good as Lee if you're aiming toward manifolds. As you learn about topology in Lee's book, you will encounter bits of manifold theory until eventually it's all about the logical manifold. I only read the first four chapters. So what's a topology? The word topology comes from topos plus logia, meaning place plus study of. In mathematics, topology is the branch that studies the properties of spaces preserved under continuous deformations, like stretching, twisting, and bending, but not tearing and gluing. A topology on a set X is a collection T of subsets of X, called open sets, such that the empty set and X itself are members of T. Any union of arbitrarily many open subsets of X is an open subset of X. Any intersection of finitely many open subsets of X is an open subset of X. The pair XT then is called a topological space. So here's my advice. In topology, don't trust your gut. This subject is so weird that things you would never expect will happen here. The reason is probably because our brains are trained on Euclidean space. I will give you some examples, but first here's a Venn diagram. So no wonder weird things happen here. This space is huge with lots of possibilities. So a subset of X is closed if its complement is open. And a neighborhood of a point P is any open set containing P. From the definitions above, you can create your desired topology by specifying the open sets and checking those three conditions. Then boom, you have a topology. If it has special interesting properties, maybe they will even name it after you like these mathematicians. So let's get back to manifolds. An n-dimensional topological manifold is a second countable Hausdorff space that is locally Euclidean of dimension n. So a space is second countable if it has a countable basis. A basis is a collection of open sets from which every open set in the topology can be created using basis. Similar to a basis in linear algebra but much more chaotic. For example, the Euclidean space has a countable basis if you take all open balls with rational centers and rational radius. And yes, q to the power of 2 is countable. A space is Hausdorff if given two distinct points, you can find open neighborhoods of each that do not intersect. It sounds trivial, you might think. Just pick the balls small enough, but no. There are spaces which separation is impossible even though they look dense and continuous. For example, take the real line R and remove the zero from it and insert two different zeros, 0, 1 and 0, 2. Give this space the Euclidean topology. No matter what open balls you pick around 0, 1 and 0, 2, they will intersect at infinitely many points. Now we reach the last term we need locally Euclidean of dimension n. This is the core idea of manifold. Two shapes are the same in topology if they are homeomorphic, meaning there is a bijective continuous function between them whose inverse is also continuous. You might think that bijectivity plus continuity implies a continuous inverse, but nope. An example would be mapping a line onto a circle. Being locally Euclidean of dimension n means that each point has a neighborhood that is homeomorphic to Rn. And that's what a manifold is, a space that looks like a Euclidean space when you are at a point of it. There are many more types of manifolds that require deeper knowledge of topology to describe. 
I will cover them in the next part. So subscribe and thanks for watching.